So this right here is the Athern Genesis Union Pacific SD70M. I picked Athern Genesis because they're more well detailed than other brands like Kato or Walther's. And Scaletrains does not produce SD70s. You can look over here at the side. I like this little detail. I never actually noticed this, but SD70Ms, they have like a little ledge in that corner. So here's a look at the back. These are the non-flared radiators. They also do have some spare knuckle couplers down there. And if you look at behind the U, there's like this little black part there. And that's apparently in the prototype supposed to be a window, but I guess they painted it over. We've got the PTC antenna array. All the standard typical roof detail on top. So if you take a look at the walkways on the ends, there's actually a lamp included underneath one of the steps. I found that to be a very nice detail. And although the vents aren't see-through through the sides, the vents on top for the radiator, you can see it through the top and you'll see the blades kind of reflect in the light. There also is a see-through vent in the front, right over there on the side. And also they have a cab interior, which I didn't even notice until the last second. I think that looks pretty nice. Here's what the bogey and the plumbing looks like down underneath. Got a bell down there. Even got the tiny little sign that says fuel. One thing that bothers me is that there's like these tiny, tiny little yellow splotches sticking out on top of like the gray design. I think most people won't notice that you can't see it from far away, but it's kind of annoying. There's also here on the side vent as well, and another one next to this one, and it's probably a lot more than this. I don't know if this is a fluke or all of them are sort of like this. Let me know in the comment section down below. So here's what it looks like side by side with the skill trains. Got the CSX tier 4 Jeevo on the left and the BNSF-9 on the right. And one difference between Athern and skill trains is that Athern they include this sort of like an air brake hose underneath the knuckle. So for the trucks and the fuel tank, I feel like Atherin, it looks a bit plasticky. I don't know if it's just the color or if it's actually just made of plastic versus scale trains, it's a lot more metallic and maybe that's why it's heavier.
One thing I found funny is that Athern Genesis and Scale Chain's their locomotive design stickers on the side of their boxes, they face different directions. <laughs>